Here's a look downtown Waterville, December 8th, 2011. And there's the building that Debbie and I are going to be purchasing for the sum of $10 and $63 in filing fees. Of course, you see down here the hardware store is closing. They're going to be out in April. We have the quilt shop there. And then we have a barber shop on the other side of us. And of course, then there's Niemeyer's. And looking off to the west. Okay, let's take a quick little cruise. If I don't shake you to death with the camera. They've painted the front up to make it try to look like something. Okay, here we are in the first room. It's the only room with a lot of light, but as you can see just immediately, there's lots of issues. And this is the good end of the building. But that's okay, it all takes time. All the metal on the ceiling's coming off. But it's the old meat market, so you got the meat cooler. And then there's at least three coolers in here. This would be one. And there's our good part of our ceiling. And we'll just take, at this moment, that's where the basement access is, underneath that 2 by 12 Here's one cooler in here. Lots and lots of things to be done. And then here's another cooler. And of course, with all the leaking roof, it's all come through. And these coolers have concrete floors in them. So that's all got to go away. And here's where they did the, they brought them in on a hook here. This is the, I don't know what kind of room you call it, but it's also a concrete floor that's got to go away. And you can see lots and lots and lots of work everywhere you turn in this building just got to be all tore out there's a hole in the back looking outside and that was the first half of the building then we're going through a hole in the wall here and it's going to be just not a whole lot to show it's just dark I hear water dripping here's a bathtub they got set up here because here's the hole on the roof. This is where the structural failure is at this point. And then, don't know if you can see it in the video here, but there's all these meat lockers. That's what it used to be, is meat lockers. Locker numbers and whose ever they were. But so evidently it was a big, big freezer in here and so there's going to be a lot of insulation issues to deal with. And then we're getting back up towards the front of the store on the other door. This is look at the back side of the east end. And it's kind of like a little apartment here. Again, with a failing ceiling. Little bathroom here. It all goes. And this is nothing new. This is more ceiling damage up in here. So we don't expect to get any better than that. Okay, this is what it is. You did a walkthrough. I might try to do the basement, but it gets kind of dark down there, but we'll give it a try.